Hello everyone and welcome back to my hard time series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In this episode, I need to send over the two science landers to Jewel in order to get the science to unlock docking ports, large docking ports, so that we can build a station. Uh, in recent times, this series has uh, mainly been about unlocking docking ports. First, the regular docking ports so that we could save the Derek shuttle, of course and now large docking ports in order to build stations so that the Derek shuttle could be useful at different locations around the around the system so I think this is uh, pretty close to the transfer point to Jewel let's give it a little bit more of a... there we go I think that's about right so yeah let's just uh, head out to the first science lander and get it going I suppose it's helpful to have goals like docking ports, but it's funny that the goal has been consistently a matter of docking ports at this point. Uh, I guess late in the tech tree, docking ports are a huge thing. <laughs> I certainly don't need any any more engines. Um, I don't even need any of the 3.75 meter parts, particularly if uh, though I used them, of course, for the Derek shuttle. I I wouldn't say I needed them, but yeah. It's just sort of ended up this way. Okay, the main burn plus a temporary mid-course plane change gives me 62,000 kilometers, though I could fine-tune the mid-course plane change later to bring us even closer. 1,922 here, 125 there, so not bad at all. We better get started on this burn right away. Uh, in fact, maybe we should... no, let's just go. I was thinking maybe we should go around because we, we really don't have the timing right, but let's just go. We've burned about three tenths of our, uh, about three tenths, no, three eighths of our fuel. But that's not three eighths of our delta V, of course. Uh, we're, we're a little bit off, aren't we? Hmm. Well, let's just burn the delta V required. And I'll s well, we're way off. So we're gonna have a late encounter with Jewel, and I'm gonna have to retune this maneuver. Let's get rid of it for now. Okay, so 8,000 kilometers it looks like. That's fine. That's within Leif's orbit. And how much will it cost? 151 meters per second. That's not bad. So we've got that mid-course plane change plotted out, and that will be all right. So let's go to the second probe. Uh, these little bundles of delta V. I think this probe was the one that had the fairing still technically attached, but uh, of course once exiting and re-entering they just disappear, I guess. So it's all right. No worries. Okay, I'll take this combination of main burn and transfer which gets us to 10,000 kilometers but of course as we saw last time the transfer will uh, not the transfer the mid course plane change will will probably have to change because of inaccuracies in our main burn on the bright side I now have a nice estimate of how long the burn is likely to take no, but that's not a very good angle away from prograde to start out, even though this was probably the right time. Still more efficient to be closer to the prograde vector, even if it's starting late. That's about the limit for me. Let's go. Okay, here we go for the last bit of the burn. About the same amount of fuel involved. No big surprise there. We're on a somewhat different trajectory than the other one, though, because the other one was uh, so far off on the initial burn and the start of the burn. Okay, let's just optimize how close we get, and that's about as close as we're going to get. All right. Oh, that's not right. Hmm. I was looking at after this mid-course change. Oh, no, the mid-course change was actually making things worse. All right. See if some some tentative burns in the radial and normal directions will help. No, no, that's not really helping. Okay, looks like 27,000 kilometers with the mid-course plane change of 121.1 meters per second. Not great, but I'll take it for now. 
And this one too is on uh, on its way out of Kerbin's SOI. So I'll be back with you with the mid-course plane changes, and then the next stop will be Jewel. Okay, here we go. I think we're close enough for this mid-course plane change, and uh, craft is pointing down, as one would expect. Oh, I think we're on a crash course with Jewel. Hold on. Let's let's lift our orbit up a bit just in case. Never good to plot a crash course with Jewel. Okay, 600 kilometers, 500-ish is perfectly all right. All right, uh, let's go with uh, lander number two. Lander number two does its plane change 13 days after lander number one, but it's the one that actually gets there first. As you can see here, it touches here, whereas lander one actually gets all the way over here. So, time warp. All systems are good. Systems being electric charge, really. Okay, and... Here we go. Oop, not quite as good as the other one. Let's see if we can fine-tune this a little bit better. Up, oh, crashed course again. Easily fixed. Okay, 440 kilometers. Very good, and this one is the first one to approach Jewel, so we'll stick with this one. Okay, here we are. And periapsis is still 440 kilometers. No problem there. Bit of a problem with our inclination, we need to fix that first. We're going straight down instead of along with the paths of the planets. So about 45 degrees worth we'll do with inclination and 45 degrees we'll do with radial. That should keep our periapsis reasonably low, but we can fine tune that a bit more. We could use the lathe to error break, but I think I'll just go with Jewel this time. Okay, I want I want to get them relatively in line with my orbit, so it looks pretty good actually. Let, let's go with this burn. Okay, I'm keeping my periapsis high right now because I am going to check error breaking calculator to see what it actually should be. Okay, air breaking calculator has me at 117.442 as my target uh, target periapsis site. So let's try and get close to that. Yep, that's a bit too close to Jewel. It's not necessary for me to actually fine-tune it using the maneuver node. I can just do it while burning. It's pretty touchy though. You can see uh, one meter per second is already too much. Well, that's a little bit too low. Let's get in closer and then we'll have to do a burn in this direction. But right now we can't do something so fine-tuned. Okay, let me try from here. No, nah, too much. No RCS on here, that'd make it easier. Oh boy, now we're really deep. Oh, 117. That'll work. Uh, might want a little bit higher, but I'll go with this. We'll just lift orbit afterwards. We're aiming at Valve for this one, I think, uh, because it's probably the simpler one. I'll want to try and land on Tylo, even though that's probably unlikely with the with the other one. Okay, let's get into periapsis here. There's Lathe orbiting Jewel. 
And we are soon going to be orbiting Joule as well. But not before we retract solar panels. Have we done gravioli around Joule? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's transmit that data. Got to take a chunk of electric charge. We've still got the always open panels, so hopefully we'll recharge that back up. I don't think I'll do any of the other instruments. Let's simply proceed. Okay, here we go for air braking. They need to change the music so that there's something dramatic when you're air braking at Jewel. Just that. Just uh, just air braking at Jewel. We need new music. Well, this thing should have plenty of drag. Really horrible aerodynamics, actually, the rear end of this thing. Okay, well, I guess we're in uh, Julian orbit. Yep. And going down precipitously. Air braking calculator had better be right. Inclination is not bad. Inclination is not bad at all. Very hopeful here. Just a 0.7 difference from Val. We've passed periapsis. We're still breaking pretty seriously here. Ooh, ooh, the little uh, approach markers are cycling around, but they're not really going any better. They're going worse, actually. But it looks like our apoapsis will hit just... Oh, Leif encounter. Figures. Oh, but we, we have nearly, nearly an encounter... After Leif, we have nearly an encounter with Val. Is there a way we can finagle this? No. Foul encounter. Well, we can do this 0.1 meter per second burn, surely. Let's see if that was enough. Okay, well, we have a Val encounter after a Lathe encounter. Well, let's pass the Leif encounter first to see what happens. This seems alright. I'm sure we have enough time before the other mission gets in. So here we go. Uh, oh yes, uh, now that we're out of the atmosphere of Jewel. And the beauty, beauty of this is that Leif will boost us up so that we're not hitting the atmosphere again. So that's excellent. And let's get our solar panels out. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh, I think Jewel is eclipsing the sun. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's no avoiding that, I guess. Okay. Okay, here we go, a leaf encounter. Which is pretty much the thing to do when you enter the jewel system. Where are you, Lathe? Well, look at that. Lathe and jewel right there. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see if we've done gravioli here. Let's pressure data. No, gravity data. No, we haven't. Okay, good. Let's transmit high over lathe. We won't get low over, over lathe, unfortunately, but we'll get this high over lathe. Have we gotten a high over lathe temperature scan before? Can we do a high over lathe temperature scan? I don't want it to get locked up. No, it can't be done right now. And now it's locked up for a while. Okay, well, we'll see. Alright, now our Val periapsis looks to be... 1,400. We can 
just that at I guess either side will be about the same so we might as well wait to until the ascending node um, 1.8 correct that and that'll bring us closer Actually, I don't know if uh, correcting the inclination is really the best way to fix our approach to Val. Okay, so here we've got a 190 kilometer periapsis for 70 meters per second. So combined inclination and uh, and prograde, I think it was, or maybe maybe retrograde a bit. Anyway. So that looks good. Let's get out of Leif's sphere of influence first. Let's swing around Jewel. Okay, it looks like 190 was about it for that. Okay, Val time. Okay, here we go. Looks like a polar orbit with Val. Ah, good little portrait there as well. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, okay. I guess high over Val is the thing, so let's get the gravioli done here. We'll have to save the goo for closer. We have to get into orbit first, and then we have to do one of the goo containers that will satisfy the first half of the contract. Unfortunately, it does take a lot. A lot of speed to burn off. But fortunately, we have a nuclear lander. So we are not short on Delta V at this point. Okay, we'll need some time. More time than I allotted, unfortunately, but okay. We've got all our lights on. Make sure of that. Okay, this is looking more and more like an orbit. And there it is, orbit around Val. Oh, and it gave us the other one as a bonus. That's interesting. I wonder why the... I mean, yes, I transmitted uh, scientific data from space around Val, but it didn't acknowledge that until I got into orbit. But once I got into orbit, it acknowledged I had already done it. That's uh, magnanimous of the contract system. Okay, now I have to watch my periapsis. Obviously, it took a little bit longer to burn, so it's a little bit off. Let's get two around there, should be fine. 45 by 250. Okay. Rough terrain at some points on Val. And we're close to the Terminator. We're probably this crater here is the best place to actually land. The velocities are not much different from the moon, and the landing dynamics are pretty much the same as the moon. Okay, uh, we're still probably high around Val, so I'll wait until we're low before doing the goo container. I'd still want to do one goo container low around Val, of course, and then also a gravioli and probably a thermometer scan if possible. Um, let's let's make for a landing uh, for a descent path here. You can see how much delta V we have left. That looks like a descent path to me. I don't know how much closer I can get it. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. Oh, if you want to calculate how much delta V we have, I'm not going to do it because we're we obviously have enough for a landing. Um, but there it is, 9.11 tons and uh, 311 divided by 90, probably three and a third. 
uh, tons worth of fuel. A little bit more than three and a third. Let's start retro burning a bit here. I'll be a little bit li liberal about it. We've got the Delta V for it. Okay, well, that'll have to do. I don't want to start going up again. Let's get closer to this. I don't know if it's a crater or not. It's a something. I think I'll aim for right at the center of it there. That should be fine. Let's uh, see. Still, this is a nuclear engine. We need to give it some time to do its thing. We're going to be going pretty fast. Still going close to 500 meters per second here. But as far as I'm concerned, there's all good territory to land on. Okay, here's the part where I have to remember that the surface altitude is not necessarily zero. Okay, and now we're at the point where it's really tough to see what my actual altitude above the surface is, so I'm gonna have to be cautious and just go below 10 meters per second all the way down. I gotta take some extra time and fuel, but better than crashing. Oh, I was supposed to do a uh, goo container low. Quickly, observe mystery goo. Well, while we are here, I'm sure. Uh, did we do the gravioli yet? Nope, we didn't. In space near Val. Why am I doing all this stuff with the solar panels closed? Anyway. Okay, touchdown. Got a little bit of shiny stuff on the landing links, but we are down safely. Let's observe Mystery Goo. Transmit that data. Yeah, let's extend solar panels now. Okay, seismic data. Transmit. Oh, did that uh, get done? Okay. Pressure scan can't be done. Typical. Waiting for the seismic data to upload, then we'll do the temperature. We've got some delta V here. I don't think it's enough to get home. Could get back into orbit around Val. That'd be easy. And uh, with a docking port, somebody could retrieve the stuff, but that's not in the plans. Okay, and material study only nets 36 science transmitted, unfortunately. And that's that. Pretty darn close to what we need for, for unlocking that docking port, but uh, it needs 550 and we're only at 513.6. Alright, so we've got the other mission to deal with, and I think I'll do it in the next episode. One landing... A Talos not going to be so much a landing as a crash. We'll definitely get the science, assuming I don't do anything stupid. So yeah, uh, that will be the goal for the next episode. We completed the Val contract. Next episode, Tylo, we'll see how far we can get as far as landing on it. And then we'll unlock docking ports and build a space station. Many space stations, in fact. Alright, so uh, with that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.